Yo, what's going on YouTube? Back at it with another video for you guys. But I don't have my camera on today because my phone's not charged and that's what I use to record me. So I figured we could just do just screen for today. But if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you go do that because I mean, it's free. It'll keep you up to date with all my videos. And I mean, why not? It helps support me. So go ahead, do that real quick. But for today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how to make some beats like Southside and Pyrex. So I'm gonna show you how to make a sample. And I'm also going to show you how to make drums like that. So let's get right into this video. So first things first, you're going to want to set your BPM to like 140. I'm going to be going for like something faster, kind of like a Travis Scott type vibe. But first thing I'm going to open is Omnisphere. So I'm going to look for some like nice bell. So I'm going to go into the hardware library and I'm going to just go to like go to bells and vibes. And then I'm going to hit this shuffle button down here and I'm going to just go through some stuff. All right, so I like how this one sounds actually. So I'm gonna go into the piano roll and scale highlighting. And first thing I'm gonna do before I type in this melody is I'm gonna set it to a harmonic minor scale. So I'm probably gonna go with like F sharp harmonic minor, which is right here. And the reason I'm going for harmonic minor scale is just cause that's kind of like the darker sound. So it'll, I think that's more of like a Pyrex, uh, Pyrex vibe. So now I'm gonna go ahead and click in this melody and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys listen to what I clicked in real quick. And then I'm gonna go through and process the sound a little. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and make sure this is routed to mixer track one, which it already is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add an RC retro color. So I'm gonna turn the noise down a little bit. I'm definitely gonna have the wobble at 10% leave the distortion the same and then I'm going to bring the space up and the width up and then I'm going to EQ the highs out. Alright cool so I believe that sets a good basic for what I'm going for for the melody so now I'm going to try and find an instrument that I can use to lay down some chords. So I'm going to open up Omnisphere again and just try and find like some dark pad or maybe a piano something like that all right so i pulled up this plugin by chris lord lg i believe that's how you say it it's just cla it's cla guitars and i'm gonna just try and find a cool preset <laughs> All right, cool. So now I'm gonna go into a one-shot kit and just find like, like kind of a texture or something to put in. All right, so I like this sound, but I'm gonna go into the audio editor, just make sure it's actually tuned to one note, because if it's not, it's gonna be hard to play with. All right, so it is and it's tuned to C, so let's see if this sounds right. We'll just throw it at F. Okay, so this is almost perfect. The only thing I feel like it's missing is a flute. So I'm gonna go into this plugin I have called Mellotron. Uh, it's uh, Mellotron, and I'm gonna be using this plugin called Straw or uh, preset called Strawberry Flutes. If it'll load, there we go. So yeah, it's the default one, and then I'm gonna just try and find like a little counter melody to mess around with. Okay, cool. So this is what I ended up doing with the flute. So I'll let you guys listen to that before I do anything else. <laughs> Now I'm gonna just see if I could add some kind of plugin to make this sound a little better. So I definitely want to add some RC Retro Color just to distort it up a little bit. So I'm gonna throw that on there. I'm gonna take the noise off because we already got some. I'm gonna add some space to it, just some reverb and widen it for sure. <laughs> All right, so melody's done. Next thing I would do is move on to the drums. So I'm gonna be using all the sounds from my new kit that just released. 
So if you think your drums aren't hitting hard enough, go ahead and cop that because I promise you there are some fire drums in there. So let's get right into this. So first thing I'm going to start out with is the hi-hat. I'm going to be using just this hit 2 hi-hat. Pretty common in Pyrex sounds. So I'm going to take the out knob up just a tiny bit and I'm going to go up into the miscellaneous functions right here and bring the shift up which just brings it off grid a little bit just to bring it some uh, just a little better groove if you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to the piano roll and just fill in every two steps but I'm going to delete all the notes right here and just drag these out hit that and then I'm going to have the second note just a little lower in velocity and I'm going to duplicate these over. Alright, so something that's really common in Southside and Pyrex drums is their hi-hats. They usually go pretty crazy with their hi-hats, so a key I like to keep in mind is go crazy, but don't go too stupid with it. Don't make it sound like you're just taking random spots of the hi-hat and cutting it up and stuff. So I'm going to try and make it sound good. Alright, so this is the hi-hat pattern I'm going to go with. Alright, so I just got the clap hitting on the 2 and the 4, and now I'm going to add a snare. So I'm going to add two snares, this one called Remember, and this one called Slime. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is just add the 808. Alright, so when you're doing 808s, the only thing you really need to focus on is always make sure you cut itself on the 808. Make sure your 808 is tuned to C, so go to Edit in Audio Editor. Click uh, Detect Pitch Regions. Make sure it's at C. It could be any octave. doesn't matter. If it's not, what you'll have to do is find what it's tuned to. So say it's F, you'll go into this setting right here and click F. And then every note, if you hit C, it will be C. But mine's C, so I'm going to keep the... I'm going to keep the root note at C. So now I'm going to go into the piano roll, and all you got to do is follow the 808, or I mean the root note of your melody that you made which mine goes F sharp, down to D, then to B, and C sharp. So I'm going to bring it up an octave and hit Control L. Alright, so I think the melody is too loud, so what I'm going to do is just turn that down a little bit. I usually like my melodies hitting at like minus 12 to minus 9 dB. Alright, so now that I got all the drums laid out, the next thing I would do is just take all these drums right here, select them all, Go to my mixer or my mixer and just select eight and then hit control shift L to mix all the or to route all the drums here. And then before I go to the arrangement, I'm gonna mix these drums a little bit. So I ended up changing the 808 out. I just ended up using this one called Whippa in my kit. And basically what I got for the arrangement is an eight bar intro. Eight bar, you could either do like an eight bar pre, and then you got an eight bar hook, and then the verse is right here. And then all I would do is duplicate this over. Then I would just take this last part off and have this part right here. I just have an automation clip of the volume fading for the outro. Which is perfect. So this is the whole beat. So I'll let you guys listen to that at the end. But that is all for this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment telling me what you thought about it. And uh, also let me know some video ideas. But like I said, that's all I got for this one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah. Turn it up, cute.